Hello, everybody. Thank you, Jarvis, for the raid. Hope you're all having a good time. Hope you had a good stream, Jarvis. Um, as we see over here, over th th this this way, um, playing some more wed right, wed right, red white taxes, shooting cat tokens out of out of cannons. Um, only one card change, I think, from the last uh, stream I did, which uh, was I got rid of the damping sphere. I'm going to put another Wrath of the Skies in. Um, I think this was also a change that I believe XJ Cloud made in his most recent build. I think he also changed one of the surgicals to like a Fairy Macabre, something like that. But otherwise, very, very similar. Um, fun announcement. You probably see it in the stream title already, but your boy. I am now officially a hashtag MTGO creator. Um, I am very happy to announce that I am uh, part of the MTGO creator program. I didn't get in the first time and I was a little bummed, but I got in the second time and I am very excited. I have to obviously thank all of you, whether it's you, the streamers watching right now, whether it's you watching the YouTube VOD later. Um, I couldn't, couldn't do it without your support. Um, I appreciate it more than you know. Um, and thank you all very much for getting me to this point. Soon, I will be able to do some of those pretty cool uh, play points giveaways that you've seen probably on the other uh other streams from creators. Uh, I don't have those codes yet, but as soon as I get them, we're going to be doing some giveaways. It's going to be fun. Um, nothing about what I do is really going to change much. Um, it'll be nice that I don't have to have like a rental account going on in the background for things like this if I ever need. Um, I actually have some cards from XJ Cloud that I now get to return soon. Um, and... Uh, and I'm hoping at some point in the future, there's the um, sh there are the uh, creator showdowns that happen. Um, they're like the monthly events uh, where all a bunch of MTGO creators get together and play like a six rounds, 64 person um, tournament in some kind of format. Um, I uh, don't know when I will be able to do those, but I hope to, and will get to stream them if I do. So. Um, Anyway, yes, I'm a creator now. It's sick. Thank you, everybody. Really appreciate it. Um, going to play more of this deck, and hopefully the second Wrath of the Skies will get me my first win against a heckin' Nadu deck, because I just cannot beat them. <laughs> Why do I have standard highlighted? That's weird. Don't worry. I've been keeping good, keeping good care of your foil, Johnny. Hello, Vi. How's it going? I, you know, I honestly forgot about those, uh, those cards that we talked about. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say that, uh, say that the the ones that I have are better. Um yeah, this hand looks fine. I'm going to mold to 6. I'm going to 5. Look, the ant fire ants hurt. I get it. All right. It is, in fact, Mystic Forge. Are they playing a turn one, the one ring? No, turn one, Karn. Okay. What do they get with this? 
trying to lattice me. All right. Well, at least I have. Um, Wastelanding their tomb here would be kind of funny, but which of these cards am I supposed to play? Does it really matter? I'm trying to trying to figure out what the difference would be. Um, I think it's supposed to be spirit. So they have four mana available right now. Oh, you know what? I think it, w or no, that wouldn't matter. Never mind. I was thinking that like maybe I'm supposed to play a Johnny um, so that I have an extra attacker to get through to this Karn, but I think that doesn't actually matter um, because it's much more likely, yeah. Um, that they, I don't think they're going to be minusing Karn here. I think they're just going to like plus on the lattice to have a blocker and then I die. Yeah, cool. Sick game. Love it. Okay. There's no out to this, right? So have to think about it for a second. Yeah, cool. Um, I guess I'll play some Wrath of the Skies, some Graft Digger's Cages, uh, maybe Magus of the Moon. I'm not totally sure about that. I can definitely get rid of the Gta. I can definitely get rid of the Sash. I don't think I really want Flicker Wisps. Oh, I don't want these Moms at all. Um, I guess I keep Wisps over that. I wonder if I was supposed to just Wasteland their Tomb, maybe. The kind of fucked up part is that they still get to Lattice me even if I waste the Tomb, right? Because they had the Mox Opal for the extra mana. This will work. It's not an amazing hand, but okay. I would normally probably just wasteland that right away, um, but I think I don't here because I have the Magus. So I'm just going to kill it next turn. But I'll put the uh, Johnny in play now. Scapped up to six. Hope nothing horrible happens. Okay, I'm alive. Um, 
so I can Swords, the Flesh Raker, Attack, Legend Rule, Ajani, Wasteland, the Saga. Or no, I can't also Wasteland, the Saga, but I can, I can Swords and then Legend Rule, Ajani, or I can just Legend Rule, Ajani, and Wasteland. Oh right, I won't have a never mind, I won't have a white I won't have a red permanent in play for this, so never mind. Okay, this this is not a question. I have to do that. Um I think what I want to do is Legend Rule the Ajani, because then I can Magus next turn, and that'll give me a red permanent. Doesn't really matter. I'm flipping it either way. Um... Create, yeah, I want to make a token this turn, yeah. All right, crossing my fingers. I would feel more comfortable if the second Magus was a solitude, but what you gonna do? It'd also help if I had like any cards for this matchup, but I just don't. Wrath of those guys isn't bad, but no like a deafening silence is if they just like if it's like slam a mystic forge here, I'm probably dead. But we'll see. Yeah, I don't like that they aren't making a construct. Two, three, four, potential six mana, seven mana. One ring, okay. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Wrath of those guys wouldn't be awful here. What is this? There's Mystic Forge. Okay. Mm hmm. The fourth petal was on top. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. Okay. Nope. Um, yeah, I think I am just supposed to Magus here. Um, It doesn't feel very good, but um, and then I think I make oh interesting. Maybe I was actually supposed to I was supposed to zero a Johnny before playing the Magus because I can't actually use the zero without targeting something of mine um, I 
one ring is dumb. So yeah, I'll just make some. I'll just put some counters on the cats. Uh, and hopefully they are just limited enough on mana that we get to kill them next turn, but I'm not holding out hope. Use plus so you can make them sack all their stuff if they don't kill you. Yeah, yeah. Like Plusing isn't horrible, but I think I would rather... Um, I think I would rather zero here and then plus, but plusing is also fine. They're just going to play a second ring, and then I won't be able to kill them next turn either anyway, right? That's how this matchup usually goes. There's the monolith they've been trying to find. So they have five mana right now. I'm feeling pretty dead right now. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. We can move on. I hate that matchup so much. Hey, Charles, how's it going? Not doing too bad. That's four, yeah, whoa, 40 streams, hello, thank you. Um, we'll see when it gets lowered, if it'll get lowered. I know I've promised it before, but now it's just funny. Interesting hand. We're going to mulligan it. This hand is a lot better. Um, I'll just put back one of the swords. Yeah. Another Vista Gamer. Probably a 
Probably Jeskai. There's been a lot of Jeskai gamers out there recently. Why do you think he failed as a wife? Whoa. Oh, do you just mean like you don't have that much of a streak? I don't know. You're here like almost all the time. Okay, that is very funny that they just exiled a spell pierce because they had to brainstorm. <laughs> Wait, that is... I guess they brainstormed into force and spell pierce. Hey, Zenawan, how's it going? Welcome. All right, Spirit of Labyrinth. Get him. No, they have the white mana. No! How could they? It's Teferi, too. It's messed up. Uh, can I draw a land and just kill it with Bomba? That would be nice. Damn. Teferi minus three on Spirit, letting them still draw a card is like... It's like... So much more upsetting than I feel like it should be. But it's the worst feeling. There they go. Is this the prismatic ending? Yes, it is. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll do it again. Maybe I'm supposed to play the Ajani there, actually, just to have a second creature. But I think I would rather save it for this broadside. I mostly think it's nice too, but God, I like. Something like this always happens to me where I just get like stuck on two mana for the entire game. It's very annoying. Now I can't even kill the Teferi. What gives? Okay, Jesus Christ. Um, okay, now I guess we're playing a Johnny. Another prismatic ending? Chill out. Deck, come on. You can do better than this, I promise. I do like that this has to make makes them have to think about blocking. So Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. I just really need to draw a, <laughs> a third land. Uh yeah, okay. Unfortunate. Okay. Well, this isn't the worst either. Get to kill Teferi, take one activation off the Narset.
Yeah, you wish ill on me all the time. What's up with that? They just had the days I'm doing in their hand, of course. <laughs> you know, I knew. I was like, huh, maybe I'm supposed to just kill the Narset. God. These blue-white players are just, just the worst. Yeah, all we had to do was discard six cards and then we found our third land. <laughs> Narset whiffed, let's go. It's double pending on the cats. No, swords on the other one. Okay. Please, Wrath of the Skies, my mother of runes. I'm begging you. They don't. Damn. I mean, I guess in that case, I'm just going to attack the Narsa. Get him. All right, the seventh prismatic ending cast against me. Got it, got it. I don't know. It's not at a choice, trust me. Uh, Sure, I guess. That's very, that's funny. I mean, I knew that they had access to a basic mountain there, which is why I didn't bother, like, not giving them red mana. But it's just funny to think that they paid one life to get the same result. It's a good matchup. It's just very frustrating to lose because it's good. And losing is possible because sometimes they just draw 4,000 removal spells against you. Slash, if I drew, if I didn't, <laughs> if I drew a third land before turn eight, then this game would not be close. Another Narsa. It's the third, yeah. Sure. 
you got it. Okay, now, now we can move on. something to this effect. I don't want Magus. I don't want any of this removal and I don't want GTA. Cool. Yeah, wed right taxes like I said earlier. There we go. Sure. Deck, give me a third and fourth land eventually, please. Oh, they're a Tamiyo deck. Okay. Right on time, Mom. Nice, my spirit is staying alive. Okay, that's how it's gonna be. Probably the worst land we could have drawn, but I'll take it. Um, what one drop and two drop do I want to play here? I need to be wary of Wrath of the Skies, which is why I don't want to go too hard. Um, it kind of, it like really sucks in terms of how much mana we're using, but I wonder if we just play mom and pass. I'm going to try it. Yeah, this is how all my blue-white games go. I just get stuck on lands and they've drawn three swords to plashers by their fourth turn. Um...
not all of them, but like this happens to me a frustrating amount of the time. You don't need all this. Okay, sure. It's very funny to me that they put plow on top with sanctuary and then just like milled over it with Narsa. You made a banger pull. I'll have to take it out. Take it out. Check it out in a moment. Can you get a pyroblast? That would be cool. Recruiter. Right on time. But also just didn't activate Tamiya that turn. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Don't have a force? Because it would be really mean. Nice. Okay. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Uh, kill the Narset. Right, I'm not killing the Narset, because the Tamiya is still alive. So I'm dealing one to the Narset, which I guess is better than zero. <laughs> it's Wrath of this guy's Supreme Verdict. Got it. Wait, am I just getting a plow out of their hand for free? Mom is still in play. <laughs> Force it, force it, force it. Damn. Hmm. I'm just gonna chill. I think I think I need to keep the Ajani around with Caracas for a little bit even if it would be nicer to pressure them. So 
so I think with like the risk of playing into a wrath combined with the inability to protect my Ajani from something like this, I think just playing the Ajani and passing is fine. Another Narset. Yeah, you got it. There's fourth, but they don't have a red mana in play right now. Interesting. Uh, I think I'm going to play that as a land. They force it, pitching Brainstorm, and now I get the Stoneforge. Cool. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Get out of here, stack. There we go. Cauldron. Okay. Well, don't have a red mana, please. Um, I don't want to trade those, I don't think. They do have red mana. They don't cast the fourth, though. That's weird. No, thank you. I mean... Just hope that they still don't want to cast the fourth for some reason. Times like this, I miss having Thoughtseize in my deck. And Gaddic Teague. I do have Wrath of the Skies in my deck specifically for this kind of situation. If I can draw Wrath of the Skies off the top. I can put my opponent to one. But then I just die on the crack back. If only I could have drawn a recruiter into broadside. Um, is there anything that I can do here? Like recruiter would have done it, land would have done it. I can only block four damage and they have exactly nine to kill me too. Ugh. Yeah, we're good. we're dead. God, yeah, the, the, the losses against Jessica are the worst. I finally get to have Pyroblast against Omniscience. We'll see how it goes. I have Spirit of the Labyrinth, so I'm going to keep it. Ooh, cool. 
There's a prediction up for whether we will win this match. God, I hope so. I really don't want to start 0-3. <laughs> Chat, please believe. Black, black for a long goodbye. Okay. Now I kind of want to Wasteland, but I think I'm supposed to play Spirit. Wait, why am I getting Creator Revoked? What did I do? This is this a show and tell? It sure, that's a Barrow Goyf. Woof. All right. Oh, oh, they just kick me out for being bad. Got it, got it. That makes sense. Um, probably casting recruiter. I'm just not sure what for. I could recruit for witch enchanter. I think I like that. Apparently I'm just I'm just not in the know. I'm I'm not aware. I'm supposed to I guess I probably was supposed to solitude before I tapped out, but I think I just get rid of the the Johnny here. Yeah, I'm going to kill the Barrow Wave. Because I think if I don't kill it, I basically have to chump block with Recruiter, which doesn't feel great either. I was thinking about it like it was a it was a Nether Goyf and I could just take the hit, but that is not what that card does. Black, blue. Another long goodbye. Okay. Real gamers still drop it or two. Yeah, uh, I've I've done it before. Um, so I think here I want to just rec or, uh, flicker wisp my recruiter. Probably, what am I getting here actually? Could get a solitude again. Um, could get a bag, I guess, could get a still <laughs> Excuse me. There's a lot of. I think there's a lot of honestly pretty good options. Um, but I think Solitude is probably the safest. If I assume the two scariest things that my opponent can do are cast a Barrow Goyf or show and tell in an Omniscience, um, Solitude means we have both of those covered. I don't think I want to Wasteland here because I want to be able to hard cast the Solitude potentially. It also doesn't take them off of casting show and tell, so. Flusterstorm goes to the bin. Mm hmm
black, blue, step, what? Spell seeker. Interesting. I don't know what to make of that. I do not know what bro is cooking, but he has cooked. Um, I think what I want to do here is cast Sash, put Yorion in my hands. Um, still leaves a non-Witch Enchanter white card in my hand to pitch to the Solitude if I need to. Uh, it means I have I can start clocking them a little bit. It's not a lot of permanence to eat. They there's one on their side. I guess I have five. So there's six total. I only need to spend three mana to take two types out of the yard for a potential another barrow goif. We'll see. Four mana. It's a form. Oh, Jace, Wielder of Mysteries. Interesting. I mill too. Skyclave Apparition and Path to Exile. Got it. I don't know what's going on over there. Well, so the, this person, this this Joe L character, is very has, for like years, played a blue black reanimator and omniscience or like omni tell. Like I don't know how you put those in the same deck, but he manages to do it. Um, this feels different, although it could just be the same deck in the end. We'll have to see. Um, I'm just going to kill the Jace. And pass. And if a creature doesn't enter play, I'm flashing in the Solitude. If a creature does enter play, I will also flash in the Solitude, just to be clear. Spell Seeker time. Psychic Frog. Okay. That also makes sense. <laughs> and there is the Spell Seeker. I mean, I'm supposed to just Solitude in response to the Spell Seeker, actually. Every time I see Spell Seeker, I think Ephemerate, but that's not actually what's happening here. Paradigm Shift. Okay. Got it. So that is... That is what is happening. Okay, so what are they? They're just getting rid of air from their deck. Is the idea they're just gonna like paradigm shift into just a Jace? Because I have an answer for that. 
Maybe they have something else in their hands, but... Okay. So they don't need the Jace. Good to know. Um, Magus, nice. I was just thinking how nice Magus would be here. I'll just do this so that I can attack them for a bunch and then play this Magus of the Moon. I think you'll have a little bit of a hard time casting your one blue, blue, blue combo cards now. Should be exactly, yep. All right, cool. Okay, we know what's going on. These Pyroblasts are going to be good. Um, we've only seen one basic island, and I'm, a lot of my cards are going to be bad, so I guess we're boarding in Magus. Um, I don't think we want anything else. Um, cut the Wisps. Cut the Path. Let's get another swords. They are clearly quite light on creatures, so I don't want to have too much removal in my hand, especially when Pyroblast is also a frog answer, so. We'll go with that. Got Spirit of Labyrinth. Got Solitude. Salty's not great. Double Vile is pretty nice, though. Yeah, I'll go for it. Any build around for Kudo? Uh, what is Kudo? I don't. I don't know what that card is off the top of my head. I assume it's green white, based on the other things you're saying, but. Oh, uh, the creature that turns everything into bears. Yeah, I don't think that card is very good. Um, I think. I mean, I think the problem is it basically makes every creature that you play against bigger. It doesn't make anything smaller. That's my biggest problem with it. <laughs> um, so I don't really know what synergies you would have there. 
there you go it makes murktide smaller we found the one it's like the one card it makes smaller um basically i just don't know what problem you're solving with that um yeah i'm just gonna slam spirit here Um, Bowmasters is a card that is barely played right now. It's not a card that I really think about very much at all in terms of my deck building because it's just not a card that... I mean, it's just a removal spell, and it's not a particularly good one at that. So I don't want to spend an entire card just to make my opponents not that great removal spells somewhat worse against me. Um, and I think the answer for big reanimator creatures is that like you solve that problem by those creatures never making it to play in the first place rather than letting them get into play but having this like kind of janky answer for them and it's not even an answer right like if they like it does nothing is an archon archon of cruelty will attack and then they sacrifice the kudo and now it's a six six again Um, do I want to Solitude the Frog here? I wonder if I was supposed to block. Because it would be nice if I could just make this decision next turn. I think I am supposed to Solitude it. Um, I'm going to keep the Ajani around. There's a forest, forest pitch step through. Okay, bummer. I've been defeated in the marketplace of frogs. Interesting. gonna put the Adrani in because it'll at least force them to to jump the frog. Can have six after that. Ears, please. That would be nice. Just any card that's good. The bombardiers would be great. Nope. Just another, another land. Got it. Just to get to surveil. Um, I'll also block at least one of the frogs. Maybe both, but at least one. I guess it's probably just one. Because then it can flip a Johnny. And that's basically blocking one every turn for the rest of the game.
I took it to Planeswalkers too. Crazy. All right. I will keep that. Um, yes, I think annoyingly that means I have to keep this vial on three this turn. Yeah. I'm going to vial the recruiter so that it's guaranteed to be in play. And now I'll recruit for probably a Skyclave. Yeah. Yeah, Frog is pretty good. Who knew? Do I block the frog with Skyclave here? I think I do. Although it feels really bad if I don't draw a land next turn. All right, they're not giving me the opportunity anyway. Cool, I don't have to think about it anymore. Just don't draw another force, please. Hello, Barrowgoyf. All right, lands, please. Land would be amazing. Come on. <gasps> yes, okay. Don't have force. Perfect. We're golden. Okay, so I think I Skyclave the Barrowgoyf here because the Yorion can just block the frog and then I can recruit. Maybe I recruit for a Wisp here? Um, I could recruit for Magus, that doesn't seem great. Um, Oh, I boarded out the wisps. Never mind. I can't recruit for wisp. Um, I think it was a recruit for a recruiter then. Getting a Skyclave there was probably the safest choice. I kind of like that. Um, like we get to just recruit for a 
bombardiers here and maybe just kill them. I guess we wouldn't kill them in that case, but. Should probably recruit for a Skyclave, realistically. Hijacks, hello, how's it going? How's it going, little dog? Finally made a choice. The choice was to do nothing. Got it. All right. Recruiter. I think I am getting solitude here. Um, but I see an argument for Skyclave too. But I think I'm going to get the solitude. Yeah. That's my, yeah, one on three, keep it on three, take this up to five. Draw Caracas, that would be amazing. Snowforge is pretty good, honestly. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do this now. Hit the frog. Um, I could attack with Skyclave, but I don't really want it to trade with the Illusion, so I think I'm just attacking with Yorion here. Um, which makes our clock a little bit bad, but um, Stoneforge putting in Cauldron next turn sure fixes that. I get Sash, put Sash into play for a little bit more clock. Get to represent Pyroblast here. Not that they're likely to play around anything in the current state of things. Another frog, you got it. And he concedes. All right, cool. Phew, we're on the board. We made it, chat. Pretty mid, but at least it's got my utility lands. T Wasteland Pass, interesting. Um, I'm going to play Heath then, might be surveilling depending on what they do. Yavamaya, so it's probably Eldrazi then? No, it is Mystic Forge again. Okay. It's that kind of night, I guess. I 
Nope, I need something that does fast, goes faster than that. Just m more lands, perfect. Um, I guess, I don't know. This all feels very bad. But at least if they are playing a glaring flesh raker here, I have the Zords to plowshares for it. What? Huh? What in the world? What did they exile? They exiled four lands. So they just get four lands in play. Cool. I guess I wish I wasted the Avamaya. What the? F what? Literally, what's happening right now? Do I just spend four minutes on Tab Grim Monolith and just tap it again? What's happening? Chat, what's happening? No, no. Okay, phew. Um. I think I need to just do this. Oh, they had to, okay, they had to p do the mo monolith untapping so that they could make colorless mana. That's what it was. Okay, checks. If I had wasted this Yavamaya, three of those lands would not tap for mana right now. It's so annoying. Uh, so my opponent cast a turn to Oblivion Sower. That's what happened. I'm sure that raises a lot more questions than it answers. Yeah, and they milled four lands. And... They all tap for mana because of Yavamaya. Where three of them would be blanks otherwise. And I am just drawn only lands. Oh my god. Make mana, please. Um, and I'm pretty sure they're all colorless, so I'm just going to attack with this mom. Chat, can I catch a break? Can I literally catch a single break tonight? Oh my god. I'm mostly just playing so that I can see what else is in their deck. I'm not playing a second league, child, if you know I'm not. This is why you're not wife material.
All right, how many lands did they exile this time? None. Okay. No, they hit one. These cards must be in the wrong order in some way, but I can't tell how. I guess I was supposed to um, crack my Mesa there first. You know what? Let's just move on. So they have big Eldrazi, so I think I want more removal, and I want this Magus of the Moon for sure. And that's probably it. I think I'll try cutting the GTA and I guess these moms are pretty terrible, huh? Um I think that's it though. I don't really see anything else we can do. Oh, right, yes, that is how Oblivion Sower works. I forgot that part. I have no idea what I'm playing against or what I'm supposed to be looking for, but I guess this has a solitude. really want that. That's good. I really want a Magus of the Moon as fast as possible, but in the meantime, getting a Cauldra could be worse. You're gonna thought not me? Yeah, of course you are. Never mind. No Cauldras. Uh. I'll, I'll make him take it. I was going to say, Bombardiers here would actually be pretty nice because I can just throw my Stoneforge at the Thought Knot. That was pretty cool. I'll take that. Get this Yava Maya out of here. Yeah, double kicked Myco Spawn. Yeah, whatever. I get it. I could not be more sick of this card for how how recently it's been printed. Um, yeah, I see they wasteland me again. We have a pretty good follow up here at least, but God, I'm over it. Stop.
Um, so I have to throw the cat at the Myco spawn, right? Because the Ajani zero is only going to have two creatures in play. Oops. Attack that, attack that. Yeah, it... I have a lot of problems with the way they... I mean, I have problems with the fact that they made Eldrazi ever, and I think they just kind of doubled down on everything that I hate about Eldrazi in Modern Horizons 3. Which really surprises me, because... I don't know. I don't get paid to make magic cards, I realize, but, like... From my game design background... <laughs> The problems with Eldrazi as a whole to me feel very evident. I don't know. It just seems like the entire the entire like type just is a complete mess. Um So I could Solitude the Devourer, throw the Solitude at them, basically negates the life gain. They're at 15, they go to 11. I can play Spirit. And then, like, getting kind of close to killing them. I think this is right. No, this is wrong. I forgot to wait until I actually went to combat. Be whoops. I goofed. So they should be at 11 right now. Which would be lethal, but obviously they're going to play something else here, so... Okay. All right. There's another devourer. Yeah, okay. So they're gonna be like very large. Or they're gonna have so much life it probably won't have mattered. That Stoneforge teeters for zero things. Yeah, okay. We're just gonna <laughs> I'm <laughs> I'm miserable. I'm moving on. Good hands. Verdant catacombs. Could be cradle. It 
it is not cradle. Bayou duress. What does that mean? Could be storm, but that doesn't seem super likely. I'm gonna get the spirit out there though, either way. Uh oh depths, yeah, depths makes sense. It is not depths. I guess it still could be depths, but um I'm gonna go ahead and attack. Yeah, cool. Um, I know that this deck, this card was played in like the saw in stupid like saw in half, like ritual deck. But I don't think that's very real. So, um, I'm just gonna recruit four bombardiers here, and I'll vial in a Johnny, and then we're just gonna try to kill him, because I don't know what they're doing. So. I'm just going to not give them the opportunity to show us. No, Jax, you're fine. Hmm. Even better. I'm gonna try to abrupt decay something. Let me tell you, it's too late for you. Abrupt decay on the Ajani. That resolves, unfortunately. Nope. Never mind. Doesn't resolve. Theta scoop. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll do this, but I don't know. I was playing Emika Remastered Draft on early Arena earlier. Made me realize how different the creatures from not that long ago. Yeah, it's it's something else. Um, I I feel like I would probably. I don't know. It's hard not to like talk about it without just sounding like a boomer in a sense, but I think like I don't know. The uh yeah, like even for sure. I think like I am not one who drafts very much at all. Like I don't really draft standard sets. I have you know very mild aspirations to like do it more often, but it's it it takes a good amount of time that I don't really have, so I don't sweat it too much. Um, I'm just gonna keep swords because they dark ritual without a three drop. Hey, look, they're gonna do it again. Uh oh. Him to Torok targeting me. You got it. Sure. Whoa, they are going off. Um. What was I gonna say? Um, oh, but yeah, I think like the, there's something to be said, I think about the fact that like, there just aren't bad cards in, okay, that's what's going on. Understood, heard. Um, there aren't really bad cards, at least not in the sense that like we used to think about bad cards, certainly. Like, every card in limited sets now, like, can do something, <laughs> you know? Whereas, like, I think it used to be the case that, like, there were, there used to be cards that, like, if you put it into your deck, something went wrong. And sure, what? 
Oh, there's making me shuffle. Yeah, whatever. Um, interesting. Um, but now it's like every card can just like kind of go into your deck and it's fine. And I don't think that it's necessarily like a bad thing that it works that way. Um, but it's definitely a different experience, right? Like, is this Chain of Smog? It sure is. But guess what? I have a Solitude. Cool. All right. Well, all right. I'll be on my soapbox a little bit. So, again, like I said, I don't play Limited a lot, but I think, like, the floor of how bad a card is in a set now feels just too high to me. Just like every card does something. And I think it's okay for cards to just kind of not do very much. Um, I don't know. Like I remember there's like, there's like a very old Morrow article, I think about like what the purpose of bad cards, like put, like putting bad cards in a set is and like certainly there are relatively bad cards now but it feels like we sort of maybe lost the plot a bit on like what the idea of a bad card is supposed to be um that even does that that like sort of gets into complexity creep to a certain extent because like yeah part of that just comes from like every set now needs to have new mechanics all the time and i think you know like giving them credit like i feel like limited sets in general have been quite good for a while there's certainly a lot of evidence that like what i'm talking about isn't necessarily a problem but it, just saying it is different um i think like the let me see if i can bring it up um, I remember there was a, just so I'm not talking in like vague terms anymore. It's going to take me a second to find this card, but that's what Scryfall is for. Um, it's from, there we go. This one, like this five, four flyer for seven, like there aren't cards like this anymore, you know, that like are so below rate that you really want them to be like your 23rd pick at best. Um, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I wish I had a more coherent thesis because I have... I have thoughts from the game design perspective, but um, but yeah, cards just do too much now, um, and and part of like the you know the 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 gameplay effect of it is that like you know and we've been talking about this I think ever since like fire design became a thing it's just like you don't th there's so few cards that like there's tension around like does it get answered or not because every card needs to be answered immediately or the game or the game ends um honestly if there's one thing i like about psychic frog believe me there's plenty of things i don't at least Psychic Frog doesn't get value on the way in because that's like a big problem I have with a lot of cards like Uro or every Planeswalker. It's just like, I don't think it ever, it never feels good to answer those cards because they've already done something. Um, whereas at least Psychic Frog, you can one for one. If you don't one for one it, yeah, things get real bad real fast and it's not cool, but like I resp I, <laughs> I don't know. After getting griefed a lot, I'm just glad that I can have a one-for-one -one exchange against a card other than Dragon's Rage Channeler. Because <laughs> it's been a very long time since we've had that. 
from my perspective anyway um god it's only 9 40 i i started early and then just got got completely smushed um i guess we at least got two of those wins but yeah i don't know deck was not cooperating and we ran into two i think pretty horrendous matchups um so what are you gonna do compliment days okay give me a second You've tasked me with something difficult, but I know I can do this. Okay, I have something. And it's not even, I, I'm not even like making this up or like just, you know, just like imagining a snare. I, th I think the extent to which playing around, I mean, let me think, let me see if I can put this thought together. Obviously days gets is really strong the shorter the game is and when games can be as short as they are sometimes that can be frustrating I, I think the part that i like the most is that like when the pace of the game slows down and you have the opportunity to play around days i think it's cool that like the ability to do that varies a lot based on the deck that you're playing and i think that that sort of leads to a lot of interesting thinking i guess because you know like in D D, for example like yeah i play in the days all the time because sometimes you just you know you 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 can't just assume they have days for forever and then you know basically play a turn behind the whole game but like, you know, sometimes you get to just like, you just, you just get to chill and take an extra hit or two. And it's okay because in the long run, you're going to be okay. Um, and I think, you know, a combo deck has to look at days very differently, you know. Oh, I'm sure that I play around it too much, but it's okay. I mean, I, I think my general approach is that like, I will play I th I think like the extent to which I play around days really depends on like how many turns I think that I can play around it um but I don't know I also actually think, legitimately, I think it's cool that Days is a lot worse on the draw. I'm glad there's like a, a cost to it in that way, you know. All right, what am I doing? You know what? We haven't done it in a while. I won't do a ton, but let's do a little bit of art game. It's been a long time. This is, I remember seeing the um, the sketch for this card. It's relatively recent. Um, I guess you can probably tell that from the style too. But um, but yeah, I, I remember seeing like a sketch and like everything that had to be posed for like the reference for this and it was very cool, but I have no idea what card it is other than that the art is pretty sick. Well, you're welcome. I'm happy, happy to go in depth. Anybody got an idea on this one before I... Uh...
Yeah, yeah, it's the artist himself doing the poses, yeah. Storm the Seed Core sounds... Yeah, okay, cool. This was... What was this from? I thought it was more recent than March of the Machines for some reason, but... I mean, not that March of the Machines is old, but... Oh, this is... I believe that this is from World Wake. I think it's from Zendikar Block, but may maybe not specifically World Wake. But I think it's one of the nulls. Chained the rocks. Um... I will do chained and all. I don't think that's right, but. Have we got anything else? Give it 10 seconds. Maybe Viola will remember. We'll, uh, we'll come back. All right, null champion, there we go. Okay, it, I was starting to wonder if it might be the level up one. Yeah, null champion, cool. I am guessing that this is a snow land. <laughs> or I guess it could be a land from Ice Age. Like, could be one of the pain lands, maybe, but it doesn't look like any of the arts that I'm familiar with. If it is, it would probably be like Carplazen Forest, maybe? I'll start there, but I'm mostly going to rely on chat for this one. Yeah, it's, they don't. I don't think they do basics. Yeah, it's not into the north. I think I. I think I would recognize that one. Koshkin Falls. Is it one of those? One of the like, nightmarishly bad filter lands. No, it's just not a land at all. It's an enchant world. You have to tap an untapped creature you control, and it's a... Okay. Got it. Oh, uh... Palladium Mirror? No, Palladium Mirror... Palladium Mirror is the one that makes two colorless mana. I can see that one in my in my head now. Alloy Mirror sounds yeah cool. Is this the one that makes yeah it just makes any color? That's what I figured. Interesting. Yeah, someone's not happy here. Sure, I'll go with it. Sudden impact. Interesting. I think I'm guessing this is a Lord of the Rings card, but I don't know which one. It might. I, th I was just thinking, I think this might be Pippin, but I don't know what else, but I'm just going to put in Pippin. Yeah, okay. Pippin, Guard of the Citadel. Yeah, okay. Yep. Oh, uh, 
this is from AFR. So this dumb thing like draws a card when it blocks or something. Oh, you each draw a card when it blocks. This is from Alara. Yeah, it's a Bant card. Um, I want to say it has an ability that costs a white mana, but I don't know what the ability does. Um, this guy's got a lot of swords. Nobody's got it, I'll skip it in 10. All right, Steward of Valoron. Okay, it is not the card I was thinking of. 2-2 two, two that makes a mana, cool. Uh, this looks like a Neo card, but I'm not sure what Neo card it is. Master Splinter. <laughs> I'll put it in. All right. Ruthless Technomancer. Oh, of course, from Neon Dynasty Commander. That means I refuse to read it. This art looks very familiar, but I don't know what card it is. I feel like I'm never going to have... I feel like it's going to be one of those cards where like, I've definitely seen the art, and I've never heard of the name or the text box. Blood mist. Oh, so close. Target uh, Interesting. Okay. Uh, this is a Selesnia card, I think. It's like Tristani Summoner, maybe. I want to say it's a Tristani something. Maybe Summoner is wrong, but I'm going for it. Okay, I'm just totally wrong. I was wondering if it's not that, it's going to be a Kamigawa legendary because of the snakes around their head, but... Six mana. Interesting. Yeah, that looks like a Savior's card to me. Um... Another Lord of the Rings card. But I don't recognize this one at all. Arwen's Gift. Oh, it's this one. Got it. Or is off something or other. I don't know. I'm over it. Oh, this one actually. Basilica Bell Hunt. I, I don't think I was going to get that, but if someone said it, I would have been like, hell yeah, that is definitely the card. I'm going to do like two more and then we'll call it. Um, getting Ravnica, or not Ravnica, Mirrodin vibes from this one.
I'm guessing it's a Volshock something or other. Or it's uh, maybe it's picturing a Volshock. Forest Worship Jumpstart. It's from New Phyrexia. Okay, got it. Another brick. That that would have been very smart. Uh, this is a big crab. Big crab on Theros. Anyone know? Is it Tromocratus? Maybe I'm just thinking of the, the promo art. Oh, okay, yep, you got it. Oh, no, I'm just crazy. I, no, I think I thought this was the promo art for some reason. way too big to only be an 8-8. That's very true. Um, another art that I recognize, but I'm not going to get it. Oh, Belt of Giant Strength. I think we've had... I think I recognize it because we've run into this one in our game. What? This looks like a 3D render. It's very weird. Lotho Corrupt Sheriff. Yep. I recognize the name of that card. And yeah, it makes sense that, yeah. This is gonna be the last one. I definitely have seen this art before. Is this from Thunder Junction, maybe? Maybe one of those tumbleweed cards? I think this is literally the name of a card. I don't think that's the right one for this art. There we go for anyway. Snare the skies. I am totally wrong. Okay. I now see that this... Look. Sometimes you just play Avis and Restored Limited and you never want to see these cards ever again. All right. We're gonna call it there, I think. Uh, not much to say. I think the the games that we lost were very not interesting. Um, we did lose to lots of colorless mana twice. Uh, what card is that? Let's see. Uh, it's Sludge Strider from Conflux. There you go, you can look at that. Um, yeah, we lost to 40. I thank you so much for the 11 month streak. I'm sorry, we will be ending very shortly because I started early and then got and, and then got dunked. But um, yeah, we lost to big Eldrazi that like high rolled us super hard and. Mystic Forge, famously not a good, not a good matchup that I'm also, that we're also like not respecting at all in the sideboarding because spell combo has not really been a thing. Um, and then Jeskai, I just couldn't, just, those draws were so awkward. Just, if I drew a third land in that first game against them before 
but like any of the five or six turns before that day's undoing resolved, then the game was like not even close. But alas, at least we won the other two. We got half our play points back. Um, so yeah, I think that is going to do it. I'm going to get to bed a little bit early, which is good because I got to get up early tomorrow. Um, I'm going to switch over to this outro screen. Um, as I mentioned at the top of the stream, uh, and you can see in the title, I am now an MTGO creator. I am part of the creator program. Um, and I thank each and every one of you for your support. You know, I really, I couldn't do it without people caring about what I do. So I appreciate it more than you know. Um, that means there's going to be some cool play point giveaways. I don't have any yet, but um, I will be running those. Probably just going to split doing sometimes on stream, sometimes on Twitter. Um, might even do some on YouTube as well. We'll see if that's a, if that's a thing I can do. Um, but yeah, um, thank you. How, however you interact with the stuff that I do, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, won't change much about what I'm doing and just give me some cool perks pretty much. So, um, I did, oh, I forgot to mention this earlier, actually, I did f post an update to my Patreon sideboard guide, um, on, or on flex slot, which you can access by subscribing to my Patreon. Um, it is still for the black splash, um, for those curious, uh, mostly just because like, the red splash definitely seems strong, but I think there's still a lot more things to figure out about it. I need to get more reps in. I need to feel like I can, like, you know, win games with it more before I feel 